Hello friends! Okay, today I have a super super fun tutorial for you and that's gonna be the super cute, adorable love letter Valentine's Day garland. So it is that time of the year where we need to start decorating our homes with all the fun things for Valentine's Day, right? And I should I show you these cute little envelopes? They're working envelopes. Come on, you could stick your little love letters in there, put them on your garland and your fireplace, and totally surprise someone with a little love letter. Or just have a secret love letter in your garland, right? How cute is that? Let's go ahead and get started on how to make this super cute garland. So excited, let's go. Okie dokie. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut out all of our pieces that we need. Six hearts and then two envelopes. I have these handy dandy stencils that you can snag, which is just heart freezer paper stencil. Kinda just looks like this. You can print these out, cut them out, and then we're gonna iron them onto our felt so that we have a perfect stencil. So the great thing about freezer paper is it's got a shiny side and a matte side. Uh, this is one I've already used, but it still has some of the wax on the back and that's the shiny side. So we can reuse them a few times until the wax is gone, but you're just gonna throw it down on your felt, add some iron heat, and then we're gonna cut this bad boy out. I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick right now. So this is the pink felt that I'm using. So I've got my iron set to a high cotton setting with the steam off. I threw my stencil down. I have another piece of felt covering my surface because you want a safe heat proof surface because you don't wanna melt your board or your cutting mat by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and that's what I love about working with felt is that I literally just have heat safe surfaces everywhere. So it works great. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure. I'm having to put a little bit more than I normally would because I've used this stencil a few times already. Um, that's okay. So I've got the stencil on there. For this, we're doing actually two layers of felt for your heart. So for each heart that you see on your banner, you need two actual pieces of felt for them. So you need to cut out six hearts. So I'm actually cutting two layers at the same time here, but do whatever you feel comfortable with. If you want to cut out one, that's fine too. I like my gigantic big shears for this because it just makes you give like one even cut stroke versus, you know, a lot of small nips. Make sure you're using really good fabric scissors because then it'll just cut like butter which I also have another video about all the awesome scissors that you could possibly need for doing felt crafts. Boop, free hearts. And this is the magical part about freezer paper stencils is that you literally just peel it off. So I might be able to get one more use out of this. I don't know, it's just once that wax just melts completely off, then you're done. But you might as well just reuse them as many times as you can. So I've got two hearts here. We're gonna put our hearts aside for now and we're gonna cut out our envelope piece. This right here is 12 inches by five inches. And I'm actually gonna trim it down. I'm gonna to 10 and a half. Oops. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this up three and a half inches. Get my nice safe surface out again, put my ruler next to me and I'm gonna fold it at three and a half inches. Almost. Right there-ish. We're gonna get my iron again here and I'm just gonna press this little seam here and that's just gonna make it a lot easier as we keep going. So now we have like a very clear fold line. We're gonna see when we fold this down. Now we need to make that little edge piece for our um, you know, that little corner piece for our envelope, the lip, I don't know, whatever you wanna call that. On here, we're gonna work at two and a half, so we have five inches here, so we're gonna split it right in half. So I'm gonna grab a little pencil right here and just make a little mark. This is the inside of your envelope, you're not gonna see the pencil mark, but still try to make it as light as possible. You can use a heat erase pen if you want for this, but pencil works too. So we're gonna go in about a half an inch here and then we're gonna put two lines here. So now, 
to make this nice little triangle piece, we're gonna take our rotary blade again, line this line with this line, and cut off our triangles here. I'm gonna do this on both sides, like so. That's that. And then we're gonna go ahead and iron this back down just to get a nice little crease and seam there. Just press it. This just makes it so much easier to work with. Just make sure you're moving your iron a lot and applying a lot of pressure because you definitely want that seam. But now you have our envelope shape and it's an actual working envelope. We are gonna get our trusty glue gun, open it up and we're gonna go ahead and put some glue on the both edges of our envelope and this is just gonna seal it up for us. So now you have your working envelope. Ta -da! I also went ahead and cut out a heart and that's just gonna get glued on right here. This was die cut so it's like very nice and perfect but you can very easily hand cut a little red heart. I'm gonna put that right there. Next thing we're gonna do to finish off this envelope as far as just the structure of it is we are going to grab this fabric sticky back Velcro. So this is made for fabric and it's got stickiness on both sides. Pull out. <laughs> so to work with this well, we're gonna go ahead and cut off a small piece. This is like probably three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the loop side with our soft side and just match that and we're gonna push them together really, really well and cut that off. I'll go ahead and link this below too. So if you wanna get this and have this in your arsenal, definitely suggest doing that. So we're gonna open up our envelope, pull off a sticky side here. There it goes, okay. And then we're gonna stick it right where that heart is. And the important thing is if you have them already attached, this is gonna help when we like stick it, it's always gonna be in the exact right spot. So we're gonna take off the sticky end on the other side here. And carefully fold it over because you wanna make sure that it lands just exactly where you want it. And I'm just gonna put a lot of pressure here. So ta -da! you have a working envelope now with Velcro. So now you can just stick a little love note in here and hide it for someone and it'd be kind of like a little bit of a surprise, which I think would be so cute to write little love notes, hang this up, and then on Valentine's Day, it's like, oh, check your envelope. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go back to our heart real quick. We are going to go ahead and glue this up real quick and then we'll do the fun part. The way that I strung these on the banner is I am leaving a little gap in between these two hearts. So when I glued it, I'm making a line right underneath the little valley part of the heart. Just putting some glue here. Lining these bad boys up. And gluing. Now for the top part, we wanna leave this space, I'll even mark it with a pencil. This space to have no glue on it because this is where we're gonna string our strength through our heart. And the reason why I'm doing two layers, it just makes it thicker and makes it more a little bit more sturdier and solid on your banner. It's gonna hang with a little bit more weight and it gives it a nice little secret passageway for that string to pass through. So we'll do that again over here too. I'm just gonna mark a little line. So this part right here, no glue. So we're gonna go ahead and put glue on top here. And now we have a little pocket where we can string our string through. Put glue here, like so. Okay, and then when we're stringing this on, we're literally just gonna string it through this part portion. And then it won't come off because you have the Velcro here. Now, if you're not gonna go the Velcro route and you wanna just make this a solid envelope, you can easily just glue this area down and then leave a whole spot for that as well. But I like the idea of having an open an envelope. But I am going to get a bunch of sequins. We are just going to go nuts decorating this. So I've decided on my banner 
to just use a few different colors. I'm going with red, pink, white, and gold. So I'm gonna put these ones away. A few out here. So this is the fun part. My daughter is the expert sequin placer. Every time I pull these out, she's literally like flocking over. She's like, oh, they can't hear you when you tell them to clean their room, but they can hear when they open the sequin bag from a mile away. And she's just like, oh, sequins, like that's my job. All right, so we've got a few different colors here. I am using Aileen's glue. It is the felt and foam tacky glue. You could probably use any tacky glue, but I really like Aileen's brand. It works great, it's tacky, it's thick. It just really holds well, it dries clear. You can't even see it's there and it has a really, really good hold. So for this, I'm just gonna kind of put a bunch of like, squeeze on some polka dots here and I'm kind of doing like wide on the bottom and like small coming up top. So it looks really, really messy right now, but you know, we're just gonna randomly grab our sequins and I'm kind of just like, trying not to be like messy, but trying to be random with it. Like I want them overlapping. I want them filling holes like, oh, I need red and just really put them on however it feels right and good. Just filling in some holes here. And just have fun with this. This is my daughter's favorite part. She's just like, I'm gonna expertly place all of these sequins on these hearts. And the great thing about the glue, it dries clear. If you have any glue points that you didn't quite cover, like you're not gonna see it. But I like to kind of just give it a little shake to just make sure that they're all on there. And like, oh, how cute is that? Like, and how easy was that, really? We're gonna do the same thing on the envelope and I just go ahead and did it on the edge. This is such a fun project to do with your little kids if you want. We're barely using the hot glue gun. It's mostly this tacky glue and Velcro, like super easy stuff that you can kind of include the family in. Whenever I can make things with my family that still look really nice and like a really nice finished piece without it being like, I mean, <laughs> this sounds terrible. Doesn't look like a four year old made it. <laughs> I really like to enjoy bringing in my family alongside me because it just kind of creates good opportunity for hanging out and then they just have this sense of ownership too after they see it on the wall. They're like, oh my gosh, I love my banner because I made that. Turn straight, you made it. Done. Did you see how fast I did that? That was so easy. It just brings such a fun little sparkle to these pieces and it's just like, mm, so great. So you're gonna go ahead and make three versions of the heart and two envelopes. Now we're gonna make the fun little tassels. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make these strips. These of different color yarns and ribbons or whatever you want to include. And these are, how long did I do these? They're about 12 inches long. So you can either cut them all out individually as 12 inches, but I'm gonna show you a little trick. So I found this vase at home. You could cut a piece of cardboard that's six inches, but this happens to just be about six inches in diameter. So this is how I cut them ridiculously fast without having to like, Okay, measure, cut, measure, cut. So I grab something, this is six inches already. You can grab a piece of cardboard that's six inches long, something that's rigid, and you're just gonna grab it and wrap it as many times as you need. Okay, like so, super, super easy. And since this vase is like very easily in a cylinder, I can, um, pull this off really easy. So, okay, so this is my starting point here. I'm just gonna clip it right so it butts up next to itself. And then we're gonna slide this off. And then this was our starting point. So we're gonna nip it right there. And now you have enough pieces. Okay, so that was a little bit shorter than six inches, but it's totally fine. <laughs> Okay, so to make your tassel, um, I grabbed five different types of yarn. So I've got this fun little red spirally out yarn, this gold fluffy yarn. I just went nuts. I went to Hobby Lobby and just picked out a bunch of different yarns. Okay, so let's make those cute little tassels. I'm gonna do four strands of each, but then this one I'm gonna actually do eight because it's just a little bit more of a filler one. So I'm gonna put them in groups of four. And this is how I kind of blend them in. So if you were just to put them all next to each other and bring them up, 
you know, it's like you have big clumps of the same color and we kind of want to mix them. So that's why I am doing separating them and I'm kind of like, like mixing them all up in a very kind of methodical way here. So I'm making four rows. Then I'm going to take four of these, put them down. We're going to take four of these like white glitter pieces, put them down. We're gonna take four of these. And this just helps blend it, make it a little bit more organic feeling instead of just groups of colors together. We're gonna take four of these. These would be fun to just make on your own, like as far as put them all over your house, just tassels wherever you need to. Okay, we have four groups here. I'm just gonna smush them all together. So now it's all blended in there well, instead of just being like, here's a group of red. So we're gonna grab the center, pull up. Don't worry about the ends at this point. I'm using this uh, yarn right here. This is the cheapest yarn of them. Uh, some of them range in like $10 a skein. So, you know, this one's like what, $2? So it's just like, that's why I'm using this as my bulk one. To tie this off, you're gonna put this, start your strand at the length of your other ones and bring it up. I'm putting my thumb at it to hold it tight and we're gonna wrap around this top portion. <clears throat> we're just gonna wrap a few times until we have a nice, just even nice tight little strand. It's just holding them all together. I'm gonna kind of measure it down again with some extra slack here. And then how to finish it is I'm grabbing one of these. This is just a plastic knitting needle. You could try to do this with your hand, but this just makes it so much easier. Plastic knitting needle. You're gonna go through the top of your tassel and bring it all the way down. And this is actually gonna like lock it into place. So I'm not tying any knots here. It's literally the tension of the, the wrapping that's holding this all together right now. So you have your tassel here. And now we're just gonna do a quick snip at the bottom trim it up so that it's all the nice same length. Okay, so these are the elements that you need for your banner. You need three hearts, six tassels, and two envelopes. Now let's go ahead and string this together. All right, I'm using just regular twine here and I'm gonna cut a little bit more than six feet of this. But for now, I'm just gonna do it right on here. Okay, so I'm using just twine here, putting them back onto my plastic knitting needle. So this one, obviously, super easy to string through. You can even just clip it on, open it, and clip on. So the next one, you're just gonna go string your needle through your tassel, and then you're gonna do this, obviously, in the pattern. So you're gonna take it and you're gonna run it through your loop between the two layers of felt. And here, this might be there. So go through one side and go through your next side until you have your banner pieces all done. You're gonna go ahead and follow the pattern. You're gonna do a tassel, heart, tassel, envelope, tassel, heart, tassel, envelope. String that on with your plastic knitting needle until you have a completed banner. I mean, how fun is this, guys? I'm so excited to decorate. I'm so excited to get all of my Valentine's Day stuff up. My daughter is just so thrilled to have something that she also helped with. So that's it guys. Super easy, super simple, but such a big fun impact. So if you need any felt supplies, link below to my shop. If you need the stencil for the hearts, link below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can be on the know for all of the new fun tutorials and all the fun things that you can make. Be sure to comment below what you think about this a tutorial and what changes you'd like to make, colors, whatever. I'd love to hear it. Make sure you post photos and tag at the Hardwood Forest on Instagram because I want to see your projects. So thank you so much for coming along. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Let's do the next one, guys. Bye.